Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yeah, I will help thee. Yeah, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Isaiah 41 verse 10. God has gone to the ends of the earth to make sure that you will always know that, no matter what, he has got you covered, he will keep you at rest, he will strengthen you, and he will see you through the tough times, in everything you do, every trial that you face, and in every challenge that comes your way, you should know that you have no reason to fret or worry, God is with you, Luke 6 verse 38 says, give, and it shall be given unto you, good measure, pressed down, and shaken together, and running over, shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that ye meet with all it shall be measured to you again. You can't outgive God. God has a boundless supply of blessings. He teaches us to give by example. Luke tells us here that, when we give, we will experience a return the likes of which we cannot manage. He says we give, it will return to us pressed down, and running over. Our generosity inspires God's generosity, and he certainly has a whole lot more to give than we do. Devotion topic is, guide me in the way of your commands. Do we really love God's commands? For many people, the commandments have become God's suggestions. Corporate theft has become so common it no longer rates headlines. Adultery? It's so common many have forgotten that it's one of the thou shalt nots, and violence in word, and deed is rampant and no one seems to remember thou shalt not kill. The media delights in leading us in the way of covetousness. After all, don't we all need fancy cars and expensive vacations? We forget God's message, echoed by Jesus, to take care of the poor while we indulge in luxury, putting God first, refraining from cursing, keeping holy the Sabbath, respect for authority, eliminating violence, fidelity in marriage, honesty in word and action, and being satisfied with the gifts we have without envy of others, are all proscribed by the commandments, but seem to have gone out of favor in today's world. It can be difficult to do the right thing when all around us say that this is old-fashioned, that the commandments were meant for a different time and place. Yet, theologians of every denomination tell us that these are actually the basis for any civilized society. Perhaps, the lack of adherence to the commandments is the reason our civilization has become so less civilized. We need to get back to basics and re-examine our lives in respect to the commandments. As I began this reflection, do I really love God's law? If you enjoy this video please like and comment telling us that you enjoy it. And remember to subscribe and turn on your notification bell that way you will not miss any of our videos.